Welcome to the Gateway Building here at Ames Community College, Windsor Campus. We'd like to invite you along for a tour of the inside of this three-story building. It's about 38,000 square feet. We have really an extension of the public safety programs that are instituted in this building. We have fire science, we have criminal justice, and we have the EMS programs along with the UAS program as well. So here we are entering the lobby of the Gateway Building. Kind of a unique setting where we have stairs that'll double as sitting areas for students, study areas, kind of a reception area as you come in the main building. And this main floor opens up into a nice big open lobby area. You have access to the elevator, you have access to the UAS program, and we're actually including a bistro here in the Gateway Building. This is something new for the campus. It's well needed. We're bringing some color into this building as you can see here in the backdrop with this tile wall. So as we walk outside of the food service area that we just talked about, it kind of opens up into a big open seating area. These are all glass walls. You got one of the best views, even on the first floor of our mountains to the west. And also there's a lot of seating area outside. So on a beautiful day, you can hang outside, study, eat lunch, and do whatever you need to do. It's well connected to the rest of the campus. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we're now standing underneath the main entry stair and the main lobby is directly behind you and the elevator is to your left. And uh, behind me is the UAS drone lab. To my right is the fab lab. That's where fabrication will happen on these drones. And uh, behind that in the, the doorway back there, a the double door is what we're calling the forge. And so that's where we have 3D printers, a laser cutter, CNC machine, and some other equipment. This has direct door access outside so that uh, students and staff can make it right outside and uh, do some of the testing on their drones. And uh, we, did, we did want to highlight this operable door here that can, can divide the classes or that door will go up and then they can be wide open in between the two. So now we're on second floor at the top of the main feature stair here. And uh, over my right shoulder is the um, faculty suite for the aviation programs who are going to be in this building. This is just a more general use classroom and uh, what's really neat about this room is this, that wall, uh, you can't really tell because it's down, but that actually is an operable wall and so there'll, there'll be a push button and it's all electric and that wall can go up and then it'll create a larger space for events or larger classrooms or whatever the need is. All right, so now we're at the top of the, the third story. Uh, this is the, the main feature stair. And uh, to my right is the, the student services suite, and we're gonna take a walk through there. As we enter in, there'll be a, a reception station and some furniture here, some waiting area. And so this suite, uh, like I said, will be student services. So we'll have uh, a counselor um, advising, re registration. Uh, we have a, a, a pretty generous pantry space back here. And then uh, there is, in the hallway, there is a lactation room and, and med meditation room. Right in this stairwell, if you look up, you'll see the, the beam that we all signed, those of us who came for the beam signing a year ago. We're now entering the learning commons on the third floor. Uh, we're, you're heading towards the outdoor patio that's facing south, and uh, that will be an, an available open student and staff space for lounge or study. Uh, some great views to the south and east. All right, now we've walked to the north on the third floor and we're over here in this one of the main lounge areas. If you look down into what's going to be this courtyard, um, you, can, you can see that we've installed already some of the site walls. So there will be some elevation change in here, uh, which that could make um, a fairly informal outdoor classroom, atrium type. But we are going to be connecting all the way through to the north and south to tie in the entire campus through the promenade. You do also see the training yard there to the west. And with that, actually, let's go take a look a little closer out there. All right, now we've walked out to the west property line here on the Windsor campus, and we're actually elevated, oh, about six, seven feet, which are actually standing on the future pad for the drone landing and takeoff area for the future UAS program here at the Gateway Building. We got great things coming. Uh, a maze for the search and rescue program with fire science, and that'll be here in October. Um, the commercial building over my left shoulder is our biggest building of the four training buildings. Uh, that'll have a lot of furniture in it to replicate a, a bathroom and a bedroom and a kitchen and those kind of things. And circle Windsor on your map because I think all these fire programs, all these police programs will definitely be coming to the Windsor campus here at Ames Community College. So with that, we'd like to welcome you. I'm going to tip my hat to Ames Community College and the community. And we'll see you guys when we open this beautiful facility.